everybody! So yesterday I went out to Cool Springs, which is where I used to work, and I haven't been out there since they've redesigned everything and since they've um, pretty much renovated the building that I used to work in, which was the old Sears, and I just, my mind is blown. But um, I've got a lot of stuff that I've gotten over the past two days, and so I think I'll be making a couple more videos and splitting the hauls up that way. But Basically, I, my intentions were to go out there yesterday um, by myself to, um, where was it? Oh, Dillard's. I was going to go to Dillard's to get my moisturizer that I so desperately need. I was going to go check out the new American Girl doll store since that's where <laughs> Sears used to be in because I grew up with American Girl dolls and um, that's like a big tourist attraction now. And I actually considered, like, putting in an application to work there, but that's, yeah. Um, and they also built an h and there, which I, I will say that I have not checked out yet. I need to check out. I don't know why I didn't, but anyway. Um, and, yeah. And so, it seemed like there was something else that I was going to check out in the mall. Oh, Bath and Body Works. Duh. The big, like, semi-annual sale going on. That was, like, my big reason for going. And that was like my well obviously I just said that was my big reason for going and um also I was gonna go to Joann's out there um to get some stuff because they're having a big sale too so my dad's dating this really nice lady right now and he mentioned my plans to her but he left out everything pretty much and just said that I was going to go to the American Girl doll store so um, that sparked something, so it turned out that she took me out there to the mall, and so we checked out the American Girl doll store, because she has a granddaughter who, um, has American Girl dolls, and then the day progressed from there, so, um, we went to the American Girl doll store, and how many times can I say that, and, um, so I was, I was amazed, like, used to Pleasant Company owned American Girl and then Mattel bought them out and when Mattel bought them out everything changed like they retired a bunch of the historical dolls they um, redesigned the dolls so that the dolls are much smaller than like the old dolls in which I have an old doll I have an old girl today doll um that's like the first year that they released was when I got my doll so um she's really old but uh Pretty much, um, I remember reading on the internet that since Mattel bought them out, uh, you can't really find clothes to fit the old dolls. Like, the new clothes will not fit the old dolls. So, I, um, yeah. Anyway, so we're checking out the store and just, I was falling in love. Just like, I want all the dolls. I know I'm a grown up, I'm an adult, but whatever. You're never too old for like kids things. I, I don't care. <laughs> you know what? Forget this whole being too old. No, you're never too old. So anyway, um, I saw everything that I wanted. Or I wanted everything that I saw. There we go. And uh, yeah, so I, I made a comment about the tiaras. They had these little tiaras for the dolls. And I was like, oh, I wish they had those when I was little and had my doll. And, you know, I would have loved to have one. And I saw her get, like, a couple, and I thought she's getting, like, a couple for her granddaughter. And I guess she got one for her granddaughter, and she got one for me, because she gave this to me before she left yesterday. So, I now have a little tiara from my American Girl doll. So, I'm so amazed, and I'm so grateful for this. But this is, like, the most adorable little thing. Like, seriously, why didn't they have this kind of stuff, like, when, you know, I was little with American Girl dolls? It's probably a good thing that they didn't, and that they didn't have a store, at least not a store anywhere near here, because that would have ruined my parents. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I got this, and this is pretty good. I mean, it's, like, heavy. It's not, like, a little cheap plastic thing. So, she bought me that, and, like, I was just shocked. I just the story progresses. So after American Girl, we went to Bath and Body Works, which is what I really wanted to go check out. Um, and I was really excited about this because Couponing Girl had posted on Facebook, uh, what she got and how much she paid for it at the Bath and Body Works in my annual sale. And I had no clue that that was going on. And I was like 
flabbergasted and shocked with what she got and you know she got like a good amount of stuff for dirt cheap pretty much so um we went to go check that out and i i found a few things to start with and i was really good i in the past of these cells i would buy like at least 10 different lotions and sprays but i still have a lot of my sprays like i have so many perfumes and body sprays it's just it's stupid i don't need any more of that stuff but i continue to buy it and i just fortunately i have had a lot of luck with bath and body works sprays because i have some that are good grief probably close to 10 years and they're still just like you know like they smell like they should um they haven't gone sour now the lotions the lotions and the little clear bottles i also have a lot of luck with those because again i've had some that have been 10 years old and they still hold up now the ones that i got are like my favorite type of lotion they like they're the best hand lotion and body lotion that i've ever used and they smell amazing, but I've noticed that a lot of these, since I've bought a lot of them in the past, they don't hold up. Like, they'll hold up for maybe two, possibly three years, but then the plastic starts to disintegrate. Like, you can, like, if you squeeze it, you can feel the crunch of the plastic, you know, deteriorating. And then the scent kind of loses its scent and the texture gets runny and all that. So I'm going to be really diligent about using this stuff because I don't want to, like, lose the product. And I still have some of my bottles because they, like, from previous years because they still smell good. The texture's not great, but whatever. I just kind of keep them just as a reminiscent of the smell. Like, I, I don't even know. I'm not even... I'm talking gibberish now. Um, so anyway, this is what I got from Bath & Body Works. So, first off, I got this cool Amazon Rain Shea Body Lotion, and, oh my gosh, this smells amazing. It's just like Tropical Paradise, which they actually have a Tropical Paradise lotion that I have that I bought, like, two years ago that they have, like, on the semi-annual sale right now, so, um, <laughs> I did good about not got, <laughs> I can't talk flat. Okay, I did really good about not repurchasing that one. I was tempted to, just because it was, like, dirt cheap. Like, okay, all these were 75% off, and the bottles were, like, originally $12.50. So, 75% off of $12.50 made them, like, $3.15 or something around that ballpark. So, I mean, this is dirt cheap for Bath & Body Works. So, I did really good about not getting, like, a bunch of stuff, because I, I... I exercise self-control, something that I don't do that much these days when I shop. Okay, so that was that one. And then, this one, I mainly got it because of the, the packaging. I didn't really test out the scent beforehand, but it has like this little, like, the leaves have this kind of glittery holographic effect. But it's amber blush and in the past i've had chocolate amber which oh my gosh i love chocolate amber like that's one of those balls that i've kept even though the ball is just kind of nasty and the, the lotions become really liquidy the smell is just oh, amazing but um and then they had another amber scent back with the chocolate amber and so i figured amber blush it would have to smell good and it smells okay like it's probably the least of my favorite scents i mean i still like it but to me it's just it's so reminiscent of your basic potpourri scent like it's it's a good smell but it's just it's not what i was expecting from it which you know i should have tested it but i probably would have got it anyway so finally from yesterday's little um visit to bath and body works they had twilight woods and this one i have the body spray from this which i bought like a few years ago it's one of those smells that, like, the body spray, I keep forgetting that I have it because I use the, so many of them. But every time I smell it, I'm just, like, fall in love with it all over again. Like, it's one of my favorite scents from, like, when all that stuff came out. I guess it's probably about three years ago now. I can't remember. But anyway, I remember it was big at that time. And I thought it was, like, a really exclusive scent at that time. But maybe not since they have it now. 
or maybe this is just something I don't I don't know what the deal is anyway so I got this so this is just this is just magical <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it it's it's a sweet kind of florally scent um well, actually on the back it says keynotes lush berry sparkling mandarin soft mimosa apricot nectar and cypress wood or cypress wood so it's just again it's magical so we went to dillard's and i like my the best moisturizer i've ever used and it's probably like the only moisturizer i really want to use now is or was the clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion but now they've repackaged it or reformulated it. They've reformulated it to the dramatically different moisturizing lotion plus. The new formula is junk. I've heard so many complaints about it. I don't like it. It's just not, I hate it. I hate that they reformulated it. However, this was a little tip that my doctor told me years ago when he recommended that I use this particular lotion. He said that the Clinique M lotion, <coughs> still losing my voice, my necklace is all messed up. He said that the M lotion, which is the, from the men's skincare line, is the exact same thing as the dramatically different moisturizing lotion, but at that time, you got more in the package for either the same price or it was less or you got the same amount for less than what the women's anyways it was a better deal to get the men's at the time well now i found out that the men's formula is this camera that i use it only records eight minutes of footage at one time before it cuts off and then it just cuts off without warning and then after so long with the camera sitting without being active the thing shuts off so I never know so um anyway that's what happened so I think I was talking about the M lotion and so that basically the M lotion is pretty much the same as the old formula like it's still the old formula so that's what I wanted so went to Clinique yesterday at Dillard's um just double check to confirm that the M lotion was the old formula yes it was so I told the lady that's what I want since you can't just go and get your own stuff you have to have the sales associate get it for you I told her that's what I want she's like so you want the lotion and I was like yes and she's like you want the lotion and not the gel it's like yes I want the M lotion so um she rings up product I wasn't paying that much attention um get home yesterday and what's in the bag is the different or the dramatically different moisturizing lotion plus what I don't want so I had to make a trip back out there today to exchange it for the M lotion so um which here is the M lotion I mean just it's like this but it's the same as the old formula you get 3.4 fluid ounces for the same price as the little pump bottle of it but um Again, this is the the old formula. It's better. A lot of people feel that this is a better formula than the new stuff. So, my skin will be much happier now. But because of that, I want to make my trip worthwhile because I just don't like driving out there for just one little thing. I mean, I had to do it all the time for work. That's why I haven't been out there in a year because it's just, I don't like making that drive. I hate the commute. I hate it. So, um, so for that reason, I figured I'd go back to Bath and Body Works just to see, like, I mean, I got pretty much everything I really wanted yesterday, you know, limited myself, yay. Um. But I thought I'd go and check it out today, just, you know, just in case I might find one or two more items that I really wanted that, you know, I may have passed over yesterday and didn't realize. So, um, I was looking around and I found something and I'm pretty sure it was not out yesterday because I know some of the stuff had been moved around a little bit. Not a whole lot of stuff was, you know, rearranged, but I did not see this yesterday. So, but I saw it today. It too was 75% off. And, you know, after I picked it up, I looked around and didn't find anything else. So, I just bought this, which made me really happy. And I'm getting really congested now. Okay, 
So it is the signature vanillas and it's the one that has the coconut scent to it, which this to me, I'm not going to say it smells like the beach, which it probably does to some people, but to me this smells more like a tanning salon or just tanning in general, like suntan lotion. I mean, this is what it reminds me of. Oh, because I was out there today, again, everything's falling. So, to make my trip even more worthwhile, um, I decided to go over to where the, the Dollar Tree is out there, because they have a pretty awesome Dollar Tree out there. They don't have, the only complaint about that Dollar Tree is that they don't have a frozen food section, which, I mean, you know, driving that far, I don't want to have a lot of frozen food in the car anyway on a hot day. So, I you know, no big deal, I have one like two miles down the road here. But, yeah, so I was like, I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree and check it out, and I'm so glad I did, which I'll see that in another video. But, there's also a Ross beside the Dollar Tree, and I've been on the hunt for, like, I've noticed, like, when I went to Burlington recently, had all these Betsy Johnson purses that were, um, very reminiscent of Chanel purses. You know, just the, the classic, um, quilted bag with the chain handle, that sort of deal. And I know, I've noticed that a couple of her collections have been like that. Like, they're very Chanel-inspired. And I've been having this hankering for Chanel purse, which I know, I know that even if I had the extra cash, it just would be a dumb investment for me personally. Because I have so much other stuff that I can spend the money on that would, you know, I have cars to maintain. Um, so it would be at a very unwise investment if I bought a handbag instead of, you know, putting that money into a car or something. Anyway, so, I was so happy because, like, at Burlington, you know, used to, you could find Betsy Johnson purses for $25, $30 max, which I guess those days were pretty much long gone because every time I've gone somewhere they've been like $39.99 or even $49.99 at Burlington which uh, kind of, mm, I mean really they're worth it but I'm just, I'm a cheapskate. I held off on getting a purse at Burlington and I, I just haven't gone back but then after thinking about it I was thinking about it, I should go back and get one but I you know I was like I might as well look around first and I just I haven't really been out and about to look around like TJ Maxx or um I guess Marshalls or of course, Ross. Ross always has Betsy Johnson, too, but every time I've been to my closest TJ Maxx, I haven't really found any that I've just had to have that were, like, what I really wanted. But today at Ross, you know, I went in there knowing that they would have Betsy Johnson purses, and they didn't have, like, there was one that I really liked at Burlington, but I didn't really care for the color combination. So, um, you know, that I wasn't, like, in a hurry to go back and get that one. But... They have one very similar to it, and the price, again, the price is more than what I really wanted to pay, but at the same time, it was less than what I would pay for one at Burlington, and it's just, it's smaller. It's about a third of the size smaller than what I would ideally want, but it is this one, and it is the, it's like a powder pink color with the big bow, and it has like the quilted heart pattern to it. And what I really liked about it, like, well, I was going to say these straps right here. I'm kind of disappointed because these, like, you can't really carry it under your arm or over your shoulder because it's just, like, right up to your armpit. I don't like purses that are snug to your armpit. So, ideally, I guess you carry it like that or, like, this. I'm not into, like, carrying a handbag. I prefer it over my shoulder. But what I did like was that it had the long strap, so you can wear it as a crossbody bag, and I hope I'm in frame, I have no idea. But yeah, so that's what I really liked about it. And again, it is smaller because, well, this one I'm going to show you is really big, but this was the $25 one, the last $25 one I've ever found. It came from Burlington, that's Betsy Johnson, and it's pretty sizable compared to this one. But I wasn't looking for another one quite this big, but I was hoping that this one would be a little bit bigger. So, I guess this, it even says on the tag that it's like, um, 
the medium size. Or, well, it says it's a satchel medium bow blush color. But the Betsy Johnson price on it was $88. And then Ross had it reduced, like, it name. They said that their original price was $34.99, but they had it reduced down to $28.99. So I figured for like $30, bucks, you know, that's a pretty good price. And it's, it's a good size. I mean, I can't carry everything I really want to put in a purse, but it'll hold my basics like my wallet and my phone and then like my iPod or camera or whatever else I want to carry that's kind of small. And you don't really need to carry a lot of stuff either, but like I can't put like a you know, it, it wouldn't be practical for me to carry around this and I mean, I guess I could, but it wouldn't be practical. So, yay. So this is something I was really happy about. So I guess that's all for this haul. And so I'll go on to one of my many other hauls in another video. So thank you for watching and be sure to check out my other videos if you like hauls.